Hi guys. Doolittle's here. We want to tell you about our weekend. We stayed two nights in Beecham Well at the Great Danes. Now Beecham Well is near Swatham. The Great Danes, I do refer to it in the video as a pub. It's not actually a pub. It is overnight accommodation, so they have rooms out the back and they also have restaurants for people that are staying at the hotel itself. So it's not a pub. We found this particular site in an advert in Practical Motorhome magazine. It was an advert for the Night Stops scheme, which I believe is 33 places where you can stay overnight in exchange for either a small fee or you can buy an evening meal or some drinks from the place where you're staying. So we ordered an evening meal and we were able to stay there free of charge. We weren't initially going to vlog this weekend because we were mainly visiting family and just stopping somewhere to break up the journey. However, once we got there, we found that it was absolutely lovely, so we decided to record a few clips. And what will follow is a few snippets of the second day of our weekend there. staying at the Great Danes pub in Beecham Well. The pub itself is not actually open at the moment however they have got accommodation at the back and they are doing catering for the accommodation so they'll cook your evening meal and breakfast. They're also hiring out the car park to motorhomers and camper van people. Camper van people is that what we are? Um, but yeah if you look we're parked right up against the hedge We've parked ourselves nice and neatly in the corner so that we can open it out. We've got this little private area where we can just open out our awning. Great little place. Great for Right opposite where we're staying, I wanted to show you the green. This little area over there for football where they leave the nets up and a village hall. And then you've got this green. And I want to believe that that's a maypole that people dance around in the summer. <laughs> but this green, it's like... It's almost out of a storybook. Got all these houses around the edge. You got a church at the bottom with a very old fashioned telephone box. And there's this massive, beautiful tree. And it's got like um, seating all the way around it. It looks just lovely. And you got all these houses around the edge. And in my head, I want to believe that in the summer, they all bake cakes for each other and have fun on the green like a real nice little community. It's just such a peaceful little village. Honestly, it's, it was so quiet last night. Didn't hear anything. We went for a walk last night in the dark with our torches and it was so, so quiet. I think you see a car go past sort of every like hour or something like that. I think, uh, literally, it's not really a through road to anywhere. So unless you live here, you don't really drive up the road. It's just really lovely. Definitely stay here again definitely recommend it. I think you were definitely right it is just like a village out of one of the chiclet series that we normally read. Yes I could well believe that was Wimbridge. Do you realise you've just admitted that you read girls books? Well yeah I have and to be fair I, I don't really see anything wrong with that. Um, in actual fact I was looking around that village and I thought Do you know what one day I'm going to write a book about this village. Oh no not another, another unfinished project David. You've got a few on the go, haven't you? Yeah, well, watch your space. If I do manage to do it, you'll be the first people to know about it. So we've just had a lovely breakfast outside. We're going to go on a little morning walk and we're going to take you with us. Yeah, the weather's looking uh, all right. I don't think it's going to rain. Let's do it. <laughs> so that's the pub. And you can see our first walk of the day takes us down that alleyway in the middle of the pub car park which is a public right of way through the middle of the car park. We'll see where we end up. The alleyway comes out to a nice field and some lovely countryside. You see the nice houses in the village, they're gorgeous. 
we're going to walk up the field and I think it takes us up to some woods. Tessie, come see Daddy. We found some piggies. You can just about see some of them roaming behind the pens. I can't see any now, so that there are some up there though. Lots of piggies. Finding the pigs was a nice surprise, wasn't it? We always find animals, but piggies was definitely a first. Yeah, we normally find sheep and cows and uh, I'm scared of both of them. You weren't over enamoured with the pigs either. No, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Good job there was a fence in between us. Absolutely. <laughs> so where we're staying is actually Beecham Well, which is just down this road here. So we're heading back there now. I love the fact that where we're staying is a bit like a cul-de-sac, but there's this, uh, there's this brick-built bus stop here. And if you look inside, other than some leaves, you've got a little notice board it's actually immaculate. It's not been graffitied. It's not been weeding. Um, I think it just, it's just a sign of the place that we're staying in, you know. It's, it's unruined, should we say. So we came back to the van for a little rest. We've all had a little bit of a snooze. We're going to go on another little walk now. Guess what? We'll take you with us. Honestly, Tessie must have thought all her Christmases had come at once. <laughs> she went for about two walks in the space of three hours. Yeah, she did. And to be fair, I think that's the beauty of staying at the Great Danes. Because it's slap bang in the middle of the village, and Tessie's not really old enough to do like ridiculously long walks. Mm. But where you're staying in the middle of the village, we could do like numerous little walks yeah. in various different directions. Mm. So it was just fantastic for and us. She loves it, it, doesn't she, anyway? Oh, yes. Yeah. You tell her, we're going for another walk. She look at you just to say, really? <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Not going for one yet, darling. That lovely tree I said about earlier. And the phone box. And we've got a church right at the end of the green. The church has got a little thatched roof, which is really unusual. Yeah, you don't see them often, do you? I don't think I've ever seen one. It's a lovely church, I suppose, if you like churches. And I believe, because the tower's round, I believe it's probably Saxon. So that'd be a very old church. Yeah. So yeah. We're going to go to the end of the green, and uh, just through that hedge, that's where we're going to head. And uh, we're going to go on a little walk there. Tessie, this way. Come on. Straight on. <laughs> I knew she was going to do it. No. This way. This way. So we're just coming along this part of the walk, and there seems to be some ruins or something. David thinks it might be an old barn. We're going to see if we can get closer to see what it is. Unless it's a church. Do you think? I don't know. It's either a barn or a church, but there's another church nearby that we've just shown everyone. So I think it's a barn. Well, we'll see. You. We'll investigate. So we're just heading across now. Tessie's coming to try and help us. <laughs> you just see her jumping in and out of the grass. Snakes? Well, probably. Where do you think they live? Oh, Ow! Yes, I got stung by a stinger. Very bad idea. Yeah, so, we've waded through some of the grass, but there appears to be a fence, so we can't get any closer. It was well worth getting stung on the knee for. <laughs> there we are. We're a little bit closer, but we don't know what it was. Some old, some old wall of something. Any ideas? Stick it in the comments. Yeah, let us know what you reckon. 
So we're still none the wiser of what that old building was. I think it's a church. Um, what about you? Well, actually, I did Google it, and it did turn out to be an old church. I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want, want you to realise you were right again. Ag- again? So I'm always right? Not always. Sometimes. You, but you just said again. Oh, see, this is why I didn't tell him. <laughs> Excellent. I'm glad it was a church. <laughs> we followed the path, and it's took us here. We're just surrounded by farmers' fields. That's why Tessie's on the lead, because she's naughty and she ran off across the field. Yeah, she can't be trusted to stay out of the farmer's crop, so we don't want to get in shot. <laughs> Look at the state of her. Look at the state of you. She is having a groom later, so <laughs> next time you see her on screen, she might be immaculate. Yeah, but she won't stay immaculate for long. Right, so we've got to this uh, cluster of woods here. It's actually a private land sign. Uh, so I say, please keep to the footpath. I did actually run up here this morning. I ran round, round the trees and come back this way. But I think as we've got the dog with us, we'll keep to this side of the woods. It's very nice and scenic. It's very peaceful. There's no one else about. It started to rain. It's warm rain. Yeah, it's not cold at all. I'm only in a t-shirt, so I'm hoping it doesn't uh, come down too hard. It might be a bit embarrassing. Oh, it's my favourite bit coming up. It's the bit where I sing a song. Cover your ears, folks. I'm singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. I'm happy again. Sorry, folks, he's singing again. I'm laughing at clouds so dark up above. The sun's in my heart, and I'm ready for love. <laughs> so there you have it. That was the Great Danes. Now, I know we filmed it with a slightly different format today, but hopefully you still enjoyed it. We weren't initially going to vlog, so we didn't do an introduction um, out in the field, obviously. And then we took a few snippets, so we really like what we've put together, and hopefully you guys do too. We thoroughly enjoyed this day. The couple that run this place are very likeable, very friendly, really, really worth it. Yeah, it's also worth mentioning the setup with the food. So the restaurant isn't currently open, however, they WhatsApp you a menu and they'll come and deliver it to the van. So you let them know what you want. They then give you your bank details so that you can transfer the money over to them. And they deliver it on a silver platter to the van. It was really nice. And I'll drop a photo in here of what we had. So such a very peaceful place you're guaranteed a good night's sleep yeah there's no street lights or any traffic passing is there no it's just about once bliss. an hour i think we saw a car <laughs> gorgeous we, we hope, hope you enjoyed, enjoyed our, our video. video if you enjoyed it you know what to do like comment and subscribe exactly and where else are we claire facebook instagram and twitter we are indeed Please contact us there if you don't have a YouTube account because we love hearing from you. Thanks for watching. See, See you soon. soon.